I realize that I have the burden um, of wanting to communicate in an era of over communication, in an era where everything seems live and direct, urgent and burning at all times, and where there's such an overabundance of sharing, there's also a minimizing of those who want to receive. So I'm glad that I found your ears. And this is a message to those who are open to receiving. I want to place before you the idea of integrity and illusion. And in balancing these two things, which they might never be in concert normally, I want to think about our professional paths. Maybe you are like me and have a career that is pivoting, that is changing, that is evolving. And you found yourself in places where you hadn't thought you would be again. Looking for jobs, interviewing, talking to people, renegotiating who you are in your career. Or maybe you're at a point where you're becoming more open to something new, more internally. Maybe the place where our world has found itself in has given you pause, has given you moments of reflection, has given you maybe even um, an impetus to do some soul searching. Maybe you're on a spiritual deep dive and taking a look at what it means to have illusions and integrity in that area. Or maybe you can just take a look at these terms, these concepts, and how they might relate to the world around you. The world that's around you without you even paying attention to it. I think about these things a lot. And here's some of the things that I've been kind of mulling over. In the last couple months, I was really witnessing something peculiar in the media, something that I'm sure most of us have already started to bear witness to, and some of us have maybe even decided it was just a given. Um, we have an age of skepticism brewing around what we are told by the news media, by uh, the publications that we read, everything. And skepticism is definitely healthy. And I witnessed some parts of things being reported that I knew were blatantly false. And as I took a look, I was recognizing that if I hadn't had some prior knowledge, some background knowledge, some independent study and research on my own, I might be accepting what I'm hearing. And if I didn't have my own kind of urgent need for finding the integrity of non-biased reporting, I might again not look for a second story, another publication trying to gauge whether or not I was getting the full detail. And it made me very concerned for the folks who have found themselves digesting what is coming directly at them without question, without pause, without any, any gauge outside of gut reactions and a good, well-woven storyline brought to you by corporate news media. I realize that when we're thinking about our professional lives too, there are ways that we balance the illusion and our integrity. I work online a lot of the time and it 
dawned on me recently when working with school children um, in second grade when I was talking to one of the students and we were ending our session, he said, can I ask you a question? Of course. Is that a background or is that where you really are? And he was talking about what you see right here. And I said, oh no, this is, this is my living room. This is where I really am. And he looked kind of shocked and kind of even more curious. And I recognized that if a lot of our interactions online are also seated in a position of illusion where we're changing our backgrounds, where we're altering the perception of how we are seen, where we're not really coming without the bells and whistles of, you know, online personhood, we can start to form some illusions that keep us from feeling that things are real. In an interview today, I was asked, how do I, you know, create relationships? And I recognized that I create the relationships the same way I did when I worked in a classroom that I do online, that I make sure to let students know that I'm real. I'm not a person in a box. I'm not a TV personality. Just because I'm on a screen um, doesn't mean I'm on television. Um, and I don't want to be subject to the standards that you might watch someone on television or on Instagram with. I'm a real person. And I also invite people, young people, people I work with, to perform in kind, like real people. The healthy balance with that is maintaining your integrity. So I don't want to have the illusion that I live in paradise, but I do want to have um, a professional uh, demeanor online. And I've noticed more and more often, and I've been working online now seven years, folks coming to online sessions, to sessions working with young people, to meetings, to part of the interview process, in ways that are less than professional, showing up in ways that are casual, sure, but to the point that they're not maintaining the integrity of our professional interaction. Today was the first time that I have been interviewed by somebody who was wearing a tank top. Um, I've always maintained that we, we're all online and maybe you aren't wearing pants, that's totally fine. But what I'm seeing, what I do get to see, <laughs> let's pretend we're still at work. It definitely had interviews where someone showed up looking like they just came from the gym with a hoodie on, hood up, pacing around the room that they were in and not at all stopping to engage the interview that they scheduled with me. It's disheartening, but it also speaks a lot, tells you a lot, and can inform you a lot about where you're going to take that relationship. But I also want to caution folks around how we might alter our own performance when that becomes the norm maybe when digesting the media that's right there before you is easier than questioning it, easier than finding out facts and figures on your own, easier than looking elsewhere or investing in finding out what's true. Maybe also showing up in a casual way, unprepared, unfocused, underdressed is maybe tempting but I, I hope that you maintain your integrity. I also think about illusion and integrity around our growth, our personal growth and development. I've known many people 
who see the world very differently than me. And I'm not interested in changing people's mind and wrestling with their belief systems, but it's always interesting to have a moment of pause, recognizing how we might be very good friends with someone, maybe shared history, maybe lots in common, that kind of thing. And then have that moment where we recognize that we see the world very differently. Maybe it's because of our upbringings, our backgrounds, maybe just our experiences. But I'm always interested when it's mainly about how present we are in the moment. And that I think leads to a little bit of the more spiritual aspect of illusion and integrity. I know folks that have taken on spiritual practices they're not committed to, but it hasn't stopped them talking about those spiritual practices, maybe even saying that they are a practitioner of, but in all honesty, not being fully committed to it. I've known folks that have gone through 12-step programs, have counted years, have gotten accolades, taken on sponsors, and are still very much in, bedded in their addictive process that they are not willing to take a deep and searching look at. I've known lots of folks who have interactions where they walk away and they, and it's, it's clear that they weren't really engaging the other person. What was that person's name? What did you guys talk about? What was your impression of them? Blank stare. Because being present, being in the moment, really connecting was not what was happening. What was happening was saying something and hearing something and saying something and hearing something. And that moment of connection was lost in being elsewhere, being misdirected within the moment. I want us to question things. I want us not to just watch the movie and only know how to feel because of the, the soundtrack and the, the film score that's playing. I want us to pay attention to the world around us, how things are changing incrementally, and in what areas of our lives are we being asked to create an illusion that might actually be of disservice to us in our interaction with one another and to maintain our integrity and whether or not we're being asked in certain aspects of our lives to be more fluid with integrity or give it up all together. position these two ideas for thought, for digestion, for consideration around how you are navigating these worlds. Worlds where we can create our illusions with filters and editing and maybe even turning things off all entirely. And where maybe moments of questioning ourselves what's important to us to maintain what's important to us to be principled by and how we are witnessing what's important and prioritized with others and what it tells us let's remain in awe of this thing called life